Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Uncle JC Town for our Bowman Baseball Five Box Mixer number eight. Just in time, CBK. I had a feeling you'd be back. Alright. Got a rain on the Marlins, but let's put the team list on the screen. Alright. Pull that up. All right, so we got a random for the Marlins. Copy and paste the name list. Roll the die. We're going to go 10 times. What would you have for dinner? Speaking of which, I got to order some food myself. Um, but I'll probably do that after I'm done here. Uh, got to go 10 times in the randomizer. Top name wins the Marlins, as always. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Isaac. All right, here we go. Eight, nine, money shot. Ten. CBK wins the Marlins. All right, so let's sort this by teams. There we go. Knock that down. Steak, lobster, scallops, sca uh, potatoes, asparagus. Damn, that sounds like a meal. Where'd you go? To, like a steakhouse or something? Damn, that sounds good. Morton's on Friday. Oh, my God. I'm going to tear it up. Yeah, that, and that's, that's more or less what I'm going to order, too. It's definitely some asparagus with my tomahawk. A porterhouse or whatever it's called. All right, let's start with the hobby. So the veterans do not ship. So let me help my sorter out a little bit. Steak, I had the, the filet mignon. Damn. Fancy. And now you're making me hungry. There's a, there's a steakhouse that has a... Well, they're like a mobile steakhouse. You know, it's like a, it's a food truck, basically. Uh, but they're a steakhouse food truck. And, man, great bang for your buck. Aroe Vera, $4.99 Angels. For $20, you get a pound of, uh, you get a pound of meat. Uh, it's like just churrasco. It's like a skirt steak. With uh, your with two sides, you get to choose from two sides. I, I usually get like the garlic rice and the black beans. Oh my god! But they also have like this really good mashed potato. I usually go for that too. Oh my goodness! All right, we got a uh, Pablo Aliendo Cubs autograph. Damn, I haven't eaten anything since uh, 6 o'clock, so definitely going to have to figure that out once I call it a night. Not too many options at this hour, though. A little green action. Jorge Soler, 99 Braves.
What happened, Vintage? Yeah, this is the last of the Bowman, actually. This is the last of the Bowman. What is snow beef? One of the best steaks I had last year, tried the Hokkaido snow beef. Well, I never heard of that in my life. I never even tried Wagyu. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Classe. First Bowman Atomic Mariners. Nice. A gold Invicta to 50 for the Yankees. Very nice. Huh, that's what she said, Vintage. Oh! Super fancy. Blue Rodriguez and Victor. I mean, this kid's really crushing, crushing it. Twenty one years old in the majors. That's awesome. You know, I was watching a documentary yesterday on A Rod and I didn't know he was eighteen when he first came into the league. That's crazy. Straight out of high school to the league? No wonder so many people hate that guy. Sí, ¿cuántas necesitas? The ghettos of uh, <laughs> what was it? Uh, <laughs> the ghettos of Kendall. <laughs> What an idiot, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, if you guys have ever been to Kendall, Florida, it's the least ghetto place, like, ever. For him to say he's from the hood is a giant slap to anybody from the actual hood. And the fact that he said it by name is even worse. What an idiot.
Yeah, Jordan Lauder, 150 D bags. Once. Once. Sí. Verdad? Wow. Listo. Carlos. Gracias. Listo. Javi number two. Dude, Apollo's huge. When he stands up on his on his back legs, he's like he's gotta be like at least four and a half feet long. He weighs like fifty something pounds. Actually, I think my mom sent me a picture earlier today. Bro, you want to see the cutest thing ever, bro? Look at this. Tell me this, bro. Oh, my God. That is too cute. Look at him. Just sleeping on my... Dude, he's on my mom's bed. I bought him that little bed for him, too. Look at him. Look at this guy, bro. All snuggled up in you know in his little blanket, which he's had since he, he's had that blanket since he was a baby. And his head on the pillow, bro. Are you kidding me? He's a he's the cutest, cutest little guy ever, man. He's such a good dog too. He's really well behaved. Look at him. Yeah, he's on my bed there. He's so well behaved. He's, he's a little cow. He's a little cow boy. A little, little doggy cow. He's he's awesome. He, re, he really is. Alright. I, I want to bring him to uh, to the Marlin Stadium. Yeah, he's a little cow. He's a little cow bear, bear dog, cutie pie. But yeah, I want to bring him to the Marlin Stadium next time they have the, you know, where they like they allow the dogs, you know, people bring their dogs and stuff like that. So next time the Marlins do that, I'm bringing Apollo. <laughs> do they? Do you think that? No, no, seriously. All jokes aside, I don't think they allow dogs in the suite, though. I think that's pretty cool that baseball allows that, and I, I'm pretty sure they do it all around the country. But the Marlins have a thing where people are allowed to bring their dogs with them. And they have to spit. They have to sit like in a special section of the park. But man, 
People show out with bring their dogs. It's the cutest thing ever. Uh, Cooper Kenny, 99 Rays. Sneak him into that VIP. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's awesome. It's a service dog. That's right. I gotta, dude. I gotta buy one of those service dog things off eBay, so I can tell. Oh, this he's a service dog. Please don't pet him. He's a service dog. Don't touch my dog. Yeah, I didn't know you're not supposed to pet service dogs. I didn't know that. All right, we got a Jordan Wick so far. Cubby autographs coming out to play. To four ninety nine. <laughs> right, they're working. It does. I didn't know about that. I, I, yeah, I thought that was pretty messed up, but it makes a lot of sense. I saw. I saw this one video on the internet where this lady was freaking out because the person didn't wasn't letting her pet like her her kid was trying to pet someone's dog and the person was like no you can't pet my dog it's a service dog in training so the kid went back to her mom to complain and then she comes up and she's like hey how come my kid can't pet your dog and then the person was like oh it's a service dog in training you know she, you can't pet my dog and he's like what are you talking about I, I never had anybody say they can't pet their dog but and she started freaking out and the lady was like, "Ma'am, it's part of it's part of their training, you know. You you can't you can't pet them. It's a service dog. They're they're working." Oh, what are you talking about? I never heard that. Blah blah blah. blah. She just started. She just started going crazy. You know that is one good thing I like about the internet is you get to see. Assholes act like assholes, <laughs> and idiots act like idiots. I'm a door for 99 Rockies. So many freaks, so many. And now with smartphones and pretty much everyone having access to, well, most people having access to the internet, those idiots are getting recorded and uploaded to YouTube. There's this one channel I follow on YouTube that's like dedicated to posting Karens. You're like, you know, you know what a Karen is, right? A Karen is pretty much a, a woman that's just freaking out and is completely in the wrong. And like there's this one YouTube channel that's just dedicated to posting compilation videos of Karen's freaking out. And it's so funny. So funny. Alright, I need sleeves. I have yet to see like a Karen in person, honestly. I would love to encounter a Karen in like everyday life. I don't know how I'd react to that. Man, freak, take a day, take a week off from work, come to the national, man. Oh, I can get you in. Yeah, I don't know where you're going to sleep, but I can get you into the National for sure. And Atomic Ronier Quintero. You saw Karen in line to get a pub sub? 
Man, that sounds really good right about now. A chicken tender pub sub with everything. I can sleep under the boardwalk. It might get a little cold. It definitely get a little wet, but I'm sure that's how the freak, just how the freak likes it. Uh, is there like a parallel here? Oh, I thought I saw a purple or something. It was probably that. It threw me off. Last time I was in Atlantic City was six years ago. But I'm sure not much has changed. I mean, all, all you gotta do is hit the hot spots, right? You know, freak. You hit the armpits. You know, hit the nether region a couple times. Yeah, you, you're good. Ah, pero en total pa es lo mismo, ¿no? Sí, sí, cinco. ¿Cómo se llama? Bradley. Bradley Kirby. ¿Y en total son cuántos? Cinco. Ok. the freak is a freaky freak <laughs> right up your alley where no one takes a shower <laughs> This is Hobby Box number three. And if I'm going to have to order food, I should probably do that right in about now. Well, that time probably passed a while ago, but... Yeah, it's not really, it's not really much to pick from right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm going to have to go to McDonald's or something, I don't know. Mariners in a 14-game win streak? I think I saw a stat somewhere that the last team to have, like, a 10-plus game winning streak... Uh, the, or the last two teams to win 10 straight games in a season uh, won the World Series or something like that. The Mariners coming out of nowhere, it seems like. Well, that, yeah, that's probably what the stat was. They're, dude, their stats for so much stuff. <laughs> Just come up with stats for no reason. Uh, hold on, be right back. Aquí tengo más.
Just the answer? Yes. Okay. Got my soga. We got a sorter finally, and he's helping me uh, as I speak here, so. Man, it feels good to have help again. You have no idea. I would have been here all... N oh, my God. That could be a huge hit. Yeah, it's at least it's an autograph for the D-backs. There you go, CBK. Gavin Conticello to 25, Orange Shimmer. Hope you hope, hope that's a good one. Nice hit of orange in our last box, hobby box at least. Eh, Carlos, aquí las tengo cuando esté listo. Dale. Son tres, ¿no? Sí. Ok. Dale, gracias. Gracias a ti. Well, Vintage, I don't think he has any interest in it. But maybe in the future? I mean, we'll, we'll see how this, you know, he's coming with us on the trip. So, we shall see. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and that, that's another thing, you know, he, he speaks Spanish, doesn't speak English, which is fine, you know, it's, it's okay, you know, he, we can work with that, but you know, he's a smart kid, he's taking, he's taking classes, he's, he's learning English, you know, we, uh, we, we speak English to him, or try to here in the, in the office to help him out, and he's, you know, he'll get better with time. Well, who knows? Maybe he breaks in the future. <laughs> oh, Vintage, you are, you are on a streak tonight, man. I don't know his age, actually. I didn't bother asking that, but he's, he's young. He's like in his early 20s. Carlos! Eh, ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Ah, 25. 25. Yo tengo 32. Ah, por ahí. Me están preguntando cuántos años tienen. Ah, okay, okay, okay. He's from Peru. He's, uh, he's 25. So he's, you know, he's younger than me, but, but not by much. I thought he was, like, super, like, young, actually. He's, like, he's 25. Yeah, dude, he's actually been here for, for a few months. He's been here uh, under six months, if I'm not mistaken, like four months or so. But you know, we we speak. You know, we like I said, we, we speak to him in English, and he understands. You know, and he's getting better at talking too. So he'll be American in no time, baby. Oh, dude, he's he's a good dude. He, uh, he's the son of, uh, of, like, a friend of the family from the boss man. So, you know, comes highly, you know, highly recommended, if you will. Or held in high regard. All right, we got Rick Kelvin DeCastro for the Blue Jays to 299. 
Lenin Sosa, White Sox, Atomic. Yo, so be, be like, seriously, guys. I know some of you guys hang out at J on, on Jason's channel from time to time. Has Raul been, like, like, cause, like, I don't know, man. That was kind of weird. Has he been talking shit you know, on Jason's channel about me? Living rent free in that dude's in that dude's head, bro. Yeah, J Jason's a good guy. I don't I don't gotta worry about that. I know he's got my back, but kind of messed up for him to do that over there. I kind of you know kind of wish he just kept that here, and you know don't have to put that in his chat. That's pretty messed up, I think. Perez, Brewers, Invicta. Another jumbo boxes. All right, Jumbos. Need you to come through here in a major way. Well, Tomas is play, uh, probably playing Frisbee somewhere. And I think Chase is in Vegas, actually. Creed Willems autograph for the Orioles to four ninety nine. <laughs> well, he learned from the best. He learned from the best. And he's come a long way, that f that guy.
<laughs> Man, I wish I wish somebody recorded that. I really do. Like you had to be there for that. That was awesome. You're like I think you're the only one still here from that era that remembers that epic phone call. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Oh my god, that was awesome. Do it. Edgar Cuatro, Yolanda Andres. Edgar Cortez Cuatro. Edgar Cortez Cuatro. Edgar Cortez Cuatro. Y cuál es el otro, Edgar? Brandon Morroco. Oh, Brandon Morocco. Para cuántos para Brandon? Brandon son tres. Tres. Listo. Gracias. Reminds me, I gotta do I gotta get a haircut before the national. Donaldson to 499 Twins. Uh, Luis Gonzalez, Orioles first bow and auto. <laughs> Man, I'm really surprised he didn't stop by today, honestly. I hope he's okay. I believe nine o'clock, freak. I believe nine o'clock. Look at trash Royals first moment on them.
I'm not sure. Uh, well, I, I asked him, and he said uh, that that was like prime time. Uh, just like uh, Vintage says. Says it's prime time on whatnot. Supposed to be first bonus in rookie pile. Okay, looks like it. So this is supposed to be everything else that doesn't ship. Alright, cool. So now let's move this over a little bit. Move this over a little bit. And let's move this over a little bit. Vintage, I appreciate you hanging on this late. I know you probably got to go to work tomorrow, man. I appreciate you. I'll see you at the National, my friend. And I'm sure I'll see you on whatnot, too. CJ Abrams, 150 Padres. Trying to snipe them dollar deals. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Oh, CBK, he did it actually. He he I forgot what the break was, but he got like two big teams for a dollar. It was nuts. Jets Cowboys? I, dude, I thought you had like Jack's Patriot or something stupid like that. All right, last box mojo jumbo. Cool. Ah, sí, pero ya voy.
Después con la cabeza ahí. Cuando estén listos, puedes recoger estas dos que están aquí. Ok. Que estas son con, por divisiones. Son todo lo que les, todo ya están hechas, solo los tienes que poner por, poner por equipo. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Y okay. aquí te voy a enseñar que las divisiones ya están ahí para ti. Están acá arriba. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys and gals. All right. Let's wrap this up. So the rookies ship, the vets do not. Man, what a day. What a day, what a day. Matos Giants to 189. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? A one of one printing plate auto. For the Royals, Luca Trash, nice. That's the second one on one today. On plate autograph too, very nice. I hope that's a big hit. That could be a huge hit someday. You never know with this Bowman. Diego Rincones, three ninety nine Giants.
got a Justin Thompson Reds autograph man Ellie De La Cruz would have been nice right there Okay, okay, a little Ellie De La Cruz to four ninety nine. Would be nicer if it had some ink on it though. And a Khalil Watson one oh one to end this would be just beautiful. Reginald Preciado and Victor. And this may be the last autograph here. Martin Jimenez, 499 Blue Jays autograph. Oswaldo Cabrera, 499 Yankees. Mm -hmm. 
Christian Santana, Tigers Invicta. Come on, baby. Spencer Strider, 399 Brave Rookie. Alright, that is going to wrap it up, my friend. So let's do our recap here. See where we're at. So these are all the parallels we got, but we're looking specifically for any parallels numbered under 100, as those are considered hits. With the Cooper Kennedy 99. And a Jorge Soler 1099. Both of those are considered hits. Rays and Braves, so let's mark them off uh, on the screen here. The Braves and the Braves. All right, now the stuff everyone cares about, the autos. So we got Martin Gimenez, 499 Blue Jays. Justin Thompson, Reds, not numbered. Luca Trash, 101 printing plate auto. Well, that is a Royal. And then another Luca Trash, rookie auto. I'm sorry, first Bowman auto. Non plate. Luis Gonzalez, Orioles. Creed Williams, 499. Orioles. Gavin Conticello to 25 D backs. Beautiful looking card. Jordan Wicks of the Cubs to 499. So that puts the Cubs on the board. Pablo Aliendo, Cubs, also on the board. And last but not least, the Trey Sweeney. <laughs> Invicta numbered to 50. So that is a hit for the Yankees. So CBK, it looks like you you got all the hits, my dude. Now let's do the hitless giveaway. I'm gonna go nine times in the random, and let's see who's gonna get. We got uh, we got Gypsy Queen baseball, Diamond Kings baseball, and Top Series Two baseball hobby uh, to give away here. I got the randomizer on the screen. All right, let's grab the names here. And let's see who's going to win that give uh, that hitless giveaway box. Uh, going nine times. All right, here we go. Money shot. Nine. CBK. Congrats, my dude. Let me know which box you want. I got Gypsy Queen, Diamond Kings, and Gypsy Queen, Diamond Kings, and Series 2 uh, Hobby. 
Gypsy Queen it is, my dude. Thank you very much. I'll get it.